With ever-increasing talk of electric and hybrid cars these days, Mitsubishi has made great strides in offering a petrol-electric plug-in hybrid to its SUV, the Outlander. Now, it was somewhat pioneering when it was first launched, but now smaller SUV rivals like the Kia Nero plug-in and Mini Countryman Cooper S All 4 are all starting to catch up, and it's only a matter of time before similar-sized SUVs start offering the same sort of tech. In 2018, Mitsubishi launched a new version with a new petrol powertrain and styling revisions, but is that enough to keep it at the top of its game? While the Outlander is available with traditional diesel or petrol engines, the PHEV is powered by a combination of a 4-cylinder, 2.4-litre petrol and two battery-driven electric motors. You can drive it as a normal petrol car or in full electric mode, the latter offering a 28-mile range. Drive it carefully in electric mode and it's claimed to return an average fuel economy of over 140 miles per gallon. But to get that you'll need to drive it extremely carefully and regularly top up the electric charge. Now just because it's got the added weight of batteries it doesn't hamper the driving experience. Overall it is extremely pleasant. It's quiet when driving at slower speed and there's only a slight rumble when you accelerate hard. Should you finding yourself wanting a more spirited drive, then there is a sport mode which sharpens up the steering and throttle response. It's not going to transform the driving manners dramatically, in fact, in sport mode, it's not as agile or as engaging as rivals like the Skoda Kodiak or Nissan X-Trail. Think of it as a more comfortable cruiser rather than a more spirited SUV and you'll get the idea. The interior is pretty functional and straightforward to use. Despite the new model coming in 2018, there are still some areas that are dated in places. The driving position is good with lots of adjustment and there's great all-round visibility too, which helps when it comes to parking, and that's aided further with sensors which come as standard. Most of the controls are logically placed and straightforward to use. All models come with a touchscreen infotainment system which is home to all the usual features like sat-nav, radio and in-car settings. The system does take a bit of getting used to and unlike rivals, it feels very much like an aftermarket system rather than something that's been designed specifically for the car. One of the biggest bonuses of the PHEV though is practicality. There's more than enough room for five people to sit in comfort, although six footers may struggle in the front. The boot is a good size and shape but is slightly smaller than the standard Outlander to make way for the hybrid system. The rear seats can be folded down flat 60-40 to increase the boot space though and if you're carrying particularly long loads then you can fold down the front passenger seat too. There's a lot to praise about the latest generation Outlander PHEV, it's extremely low CO2 emissions and benefiting kind tax really make it a strong consideration for company car drivers while its SUV dimensions means it's extremely practical too.